Fox 21 is your local election headquarters, and there are now less than 35 days until the November election. Now, the El Paso County clerk and recorder is predicting a historic election with a 90% voter turnout. Fox 21's Austin Sachs shows us how election leaders are preparing. Yeah, Abby and Scott, it's all hands on deck at the clerk and recorder's office. Election officials are prioritizing transparency and are currently testing the accuracy of voting equipment. In the meantime, they are encouraging all unregistered voters to head to GoVoteColorado.org to register or make any changes to your address before ballots are mailed out. Everything is, uh, you know, on the up and up here in El Paso County. It's a team effort at the El Paso County Clerk and Recorder's Office as election judges are tasked with testing 30,000 practice ballots ahead of the November election. And this is a significant test. It's composed of three different components where we're looking at a system test, hardware test, and an integrity test. While prioritizing transparency, more than 800 bipartisan judges are working to ensure the accuracy and security of voting equipment. So I know there's a lot of, you know, uh, debate out there about hooking up to the internet, you know, different things, not here in El Paso County. It comes after former Mesa County Clerk and Recorder Tina Peters was sentenced to nine years in prison for leading a data breach scheme inspired by false claims that voting fraud altered the result of the 2020 presidential election. I think the Tina Peters case shows how well our elections actually do work. Uh, remember, this was the first public insider threat because we discovered there was an election security breach before any other case in the country. Over the last 21 months uh, here in El Paso County, we changed up a lot of things here in the election office. And we were just really focused on one, being a leader in the state, two, transparency. Right now, El Paso County is the only county in Colorado where voters can access a live stream of the 41 ballot boxes scattered across the region. Here in Colorado, it's required that there is video surveillance of all drop boxes. It's not required that it's live streamed, uh, but that's considered a, a voting record that is held on for quite some time after the election. And it's really useful in case we ever have to pull footage of any type of behavior at a drop box. The clerk and recorder says popular misconceptions around ballot harvesting, which involves third parties collecting and delivering ballots, is one of the main reasons they are providing a 24-7 live stream of ballot boxes. And since doing that, this office has received zero core or zero complaints regarding that. Now the clerk and recorder's office says the accuracy test will run until it's finished, which they anticipate will be next Tuesday, October 8th. In the meantime, head to fox21news.com for more ballot information. Scott and Abby, back to you.